YouTubers, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're gonna update the Tempo Tech Sonata HD Pro. This digital to analog converter has a new update. I struggled to find the website. It's something like China, but the site cannot be reached. So eventually, if you write Tempo Tech dot com it will turn up other website so guys write in the bar tempotech.com.cn slash english and here you will have the support and go all the way to the page to the sonata hd pro newest firmware so guys once you arrived at this page you have to download the audio driver for your Windows. I think the Windows 10 will recognize it, but download this audio driver and then this is the firmware, the V3.0 in 2020. You see it's a difference, the audio driver is in 2018 and 2020 is the firmware. Guys, just connect the adapter for your computer because this DAC you can use it on your computer and on your smartphone so if you you get a message usb device is not found we got to write and install the audio driver let's install the sonata hd audio driver install click on install yes we have to restart the system now guys it's a catch if you are seeing um, my device is connected but I cannot find the Sonata HD in the sound video and game controllers. So even if I will take it out and put it back, it will not work. So the secret to display you in the device manager is to insert a, a jack, audio jack, wire and uh, hold on, or headphones or something. And then you will see, and now you will see the Sonata HD it will be you will find it in the device manager so now guys i open up the document of upgrading and click properties on your sonata usb audio go at events and here scroll down to exactly here parent device and you will see 22 e1 we got to fill up this Vendor ID, paste 22E1, exactly like in this, and E203, let's see it, E203, and we have E203, so guys, to view the firmware, just open up the program, when you install the driver, it installs a program, and we have here, we can set up this uh, device, 24 bits, 96 kilohertz to output the on your computer. I want to see the firmware here, but I just don't see it. So now let's write the prompt. So the firmware update it's completed. So guys, this is how you update your Sonata HD Pro. So okay, I uh, removed the device, reinserted again, and that is it. And now I hope I will not have problems with this uh, device by connecting it or the connection problem. And I hope uh, we will see an improvement to this firmware as uh, audio quality. Thank you for watching guys. Have a great day. See you. Bye.